about development. These are things that are milestones that your pediatrician will check at every well child visit. Penelope's two months now, as you can see on our lovely board. And so we're gonna talk about a few things. In development, we always look at a few areas. One is language. So at this age, when you're two months old, what you expect is what we call cooing. And cooing really is ah, ooh kind of sounds, really the vowel sounds. And Penelope's been pretty chatty the last couple of weeks. We'll see if she gives us some sounds. Can you talk to us? What you think? So usually cooing includes ooh sounds, ah sounds, sounds like they're trying to talk to you. It's great to talk back to them, talk to them like, you know, in uh, intelligible English language, uh, have real conversations with them. There you go. There was a sound right there. Good job. The other thing they can do um, is smile socially. If they're interacted with, they're played with, they'll start giving you smiles, which will melt your heart until you're do taking care of your kid. The other things you notice is her hands. She's kind of moving in a coordinated fashion. Around two months, they have some de deliberate movements with their eyes and hands coordinated. As far as their vision, they can see a little bit further. They can rec start recognizing faces. And the tracking has changed. They're able to see objects in front of them and follow them as they move away from them. And they should be able to follow for a full 180 degrees like she just did. And the last thing we're gonna talk about is hearing. So at this age, they can kind of turn to sound. But trust, there you go. She's able to do it there. So those are kind of the milestones that we're looking at at the two month visit. Those are things to keep track of. Remember milestones happen on average at that age. So some kids will do the social smile before then, some kids will do it a little bit after. The cooing may come a little bit earlier, it may come a little bit after. If you have any concerns about the development, make sure you talk to your pediatrician. It's something they'll keep track of with you and help you practice at home.